Hello everybody, my name's White Dragons and welcome back to Minecraft Village Defender. This episode should be pretty short and pretty simple and pretty sweet. This episode's primarily going to be about what the hell's been going on with me and why haven't I been doing any uploadings to Lou... to Lou? I can't talk worth a shit tonight to YouTube. So, currently right now, by the time you're watching this, I'll have probably already got some other videos up, hopefully. If not, that means shit has happened. And... It's been very difficult. Where are they? Are they doing? Okay, they're doing it. Uh, sometimes sound goes out, and I don't know why. Um, but let's talk about what the hell's been going on. Uh, let's just say that I've been having some problems with my work. Uh, if you don't know what I do for a living, I've told several times in the videos in the past. So I'm giving you a little thing to go and find out what I do. Um, the main objective of my job is for people to spend money and if people don't spend money I don't make money and if I don't make money then I can't pay my bills if I can't pay my bills it becomes an issue now as everybody's already been drilled in their head at the end of every video I say thanks so much for watching remember we do this for fun not for profit and that's exactly what it means is I don't make any money off of any of my videos so uh, I'm going to try this one more time. Uh. There you Did, oh. Did they put the stuff in it? Yes! Okay, good. Oh my god. I've been like recording like five or six of these things because I'm afraid of what I'm going to say. It may piss some people off. But at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, it's going to happen. So just accept it. You know, it's kind of like the band-aid. Just rip the damn band-aid off. Um, and need away because they make so much noise. Um, so, uh, where were we? We were talking about real life. Yes, real life. Real life has come up, and I've got to pay my bills. I've got to get things done. So recording gets put on the back burner. And the reason why is very simple. Um, I do my own editing. I do my own editing. I do my own sound. By the way, the person who... Um, messaged me and said or messaged me and said you know I hate your videos because of the sound in the background you do realize I live in Florida it's a hundred and it's a hundred and five with a heat index of 114 sometimes and today's been fairly nice but it's still hot it still hits in the hundred degree marker in the heat index so I do try to get the video out I mean I do the video out I do try to get the sound out by putting music in the background of my voice but the fans there to so I don't sweat like a pig so I don't know what else to tell you dude or dudette or it but that's just the way it is and also you're seeing how I do my mining which is pretty boring this is the other reason why I got kind of called out on this because my videos have become a little lackluster, uh, per se, where I give too much detail and not enough game time, I guess is the best way to say it. Not enough time to... What's the best way to say this? Not enough time to show my potential. So, uh, what that means basically is in the past, I have... Uh, showed you I've got the material yay thanks so much for watching and then the next one is hey we're building yay and that's not working out too well that's taking up a lot of videos that don't need to be recorded uh, I've gotten to the point now where I need to redo my format and there's like five or six videos that I'm going to scrap for Village Defender and the reason why is because that they do exactly that they say hey what's up I'm White Dragons I, I go get the crap, I put it in a chest, and that's it. I'm completely boring with music in the background. Uh, I will probably keep one episode, and that's just me building the walls. Uh, after these idiots get done with the, hopefully putting stuff in the chest, we can go and look at what the village now looks like. Um, but back to what we, but what this video is about. Uh, as I said before, I do my own editing, my sound, my cutting, my downloading, my uploading, and my own publishing of the video to YouTube. So I have to do my own description, I have to do my own tags, 
I have to do my own custom thumbnails. I do everything myself. There are a lot of YouTubers out there like me who do that. Uh, but they only do it for a hobby. They don't do it for actual profit. Because they have jobs they go to every day. Uh, now, with that being said, I want you guys to realize that there are other YouTubers like me who are out there that are struggling for trying to figure out what kind of content to put out. You know, I was asked demographically, who am I trying to target? Because I, had, I actually had someone say, we would like to have you in our network. We just need to know who exactly you're targeting. And my answer was, everyone. And they didn't like that at all. Uh, and my answer still holds. I'm targeting everybody. Uh, I'm a gamer. I enjoy games. I play MMORPGs. I play first-person shooters. I play uh, the, the quirky games. I play the, the hardcore games. I play, you know, I play games because I want to play games. I want to get out of reality just for a few minutes. So, if it seems like my videos, con my, my videos, my channel is constantly moving around and changing differently, like Five Nights at Freddy's or arcade or something like that it's because i always want to do something different now minecraft will always be my go oh thank you you guys rock i know how to do it now uh minecraft will always be my main video source i guess to say but as far as everything else is concerned uh i do it because uh I like letting people see what 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 it sells is out there. So uh, let's talk about what we've been doing, or what I've been doing off camera, and then we'll go over the uh, the format here on what we're going to be doing from here on out. So I am in bat form, uh, as you can see. Uh, I had to take bat form because these towers were killing me. Uh, I was unable to get up the side of them with the spider because there's ledges. So, if this was easy to do, this was easy to do in human form or in Steve form, and this one was easy to do in Steve form, but the other, the towers, I needed to be in bat form, so, so we're flying, I'm sorry. I typically don't use bat form often, but uh, we're going to use bat form to showcase here. So, this was our first tower, and our first tower pretty much got complete, but we're going to gut it. Uh, we're going to pull the portal out. We're going to gut it because each one of these towers, and I still have one more tower to build, will be for spawners. Uh, we're going to dig down, and we're going to basically be able to get AFK in one spot. And, you know, if we need bones, we can get bones. If we need, you know, witches to drop stuff, we can get witches to drop stuff. So... You know, we're going to be doing stuff like that. I'll probably, again, like I said, I'll build the tower like I've been doing. I'll dig down. I'll get everything nice and organized. And then I'll have all the material to build the mechanics that we need to build. And then I will record it. So that's going to be the new format for the videos from now on. I may drift off every now and then, but that's going to be the format for now. Uh, but as you can see, the, I've got a tower going up. I've got the wall completed on this side I've got the wall completed on this side over here uh, I think I finished off the barn in a video I may show it I may not uh, the barn in regular form is unattainable if you lock it from the inside so I had to put this little invisible bridge in in order to uh, in order to make it where you can get inside I can already see right now I need to fix this because this is annoying as shit and I will fix that later but uh, the towers are done. The uh, really cool part is the carpenter's block. You can actually make it so that the carpenter's block is uh, basically looks like a wall. And uh, what will happen is, is we'll put a spawner in here because this is 13 blocks high, so I just need to dig down to 25 or 26. Can't remember. And uh, put a grinder in, and then we'll be able to get XP and items off the uh, monsters but that's going to take some time so as you can see we've we've got the wall done I've added in the exits and entrances areas to the wall uh, I have a great idea for the wall for the doors uh, but they're going to require me to really think 
and uh, it's going to take a little while. I did try different idea, uh, different textures, so that's pretty nice. Oop, that's the black blacksmith. Sorry, <laughs> it's like nine o'clock at night, and I got up at two o'clock this morning because my job starts at two o'clock. Uh, I finished. This is a uh, microblog half slabs of glass, which is pretty nice. But I have to finish the wall here, and the last tower will probably be right here because I want to put a dock here and I want to make it so that it's a fishing area uh, which means this tree will probably have to go but it looks really cool and I really want to keep it but it probably not have to go the graveyard we're going to have to move I'm probably going to wind up moving the graveyard probably out here and the reason why is because it's a magical land yeah magical so that's always gonna be fun um that's pretty much it oh the castle the castle we've done some work to the castle i finally got enough blocks to get it moving so we got a another layer up and i will be uh taking all of this cobblestone out eventually and we will get that started off uh, I may put like a video in where me uh, building up at the castle, but that's like going to be like a real short one, maybe 5-15 minute episode. I'll probably cut something in. I really like this idea. Uh, this will change probably because I have an idea again for a, a bridge. But uh, like like the see how it like goes in the the water here. It's like okay. The bridge comes down, and as the bridge comes down, it goes into the water. It's really cool. I like it. Uh, again, I did put a video in where I had catching these guys, and I'm not gonna record, I'm not gonna show that because it's kind of boring, and again, it's not very adventurous. So, yeah. Uh, my next big project along with everything else that I'm doing is I'm probably going to make a three layered slaughterhouse and I don't need to say slaughterhouse as much as I need to change it uh, what I would like to do is once the chicken coop gets full that second layer on top I'm actually going to create a butchering station maybe for that too I don't know yet but over here what I would like to do is I want uh, cows and pigs and uh, maybe I don't know I don't know how we get chickens over here but I'm going to build a building where they will have layers of, of like cows and stuff and <laughs> they get slaughtered basically and we can then start producing meats or we can start producing uh, pink slime I think it's called or something like that I'm not 100% sure uh, but that will be part of that and then uh, I'm possibly thinking about maybe out here having having some decorations of maybe animals something like that that would lead out you know something something pleasant something sweet something nice but more or less this would be a killing zone uh, and I, what I'm doing is the reason why I'm spacing all this out is because I don't want my frames getting choppy in certain areas. So like, like over here we would have like uh, an ongoing, you know, an ongoing spawner and then a fishing system going. And then over here we would have the garden and the tower for the spawning. And then over here the slaughterhouse and the tower. And then over here, you know, our power source is running and the trees in the background. Uh, I also plan on redoing the power plant as well as redoing um, the tree farm as well uh, and putting it probably somewhere a little bit away from each other uh, maybe throwing the tree farm you know over here and then putting the power plant further out hey I need some I need some uh, thing bobbies come here Where'd you go? Oh. I love being in bat form. You can't touch me. <laughs> mm. 
Yes, I need the ender pearls. Oh, thank you. Gosh. Now, how the hell did you get in here? There we go. Sometimes the villagers get stuck, and I don't know why. When the steps come up, I don't know why. It's really weird. Anyways, but that's pretty much about the video. All you know, in, in, in form is what it's about. Is me basically saying, hey. You know, I understand I have shitty videos right now, and I don't have any videos at all, and I'm trying, but at the same time, life gets in the way, real life, so kind of have to go with what you know. Hey, they, re they respawned. Awesome. Hey, look at the crap that we put in here is actually going down now. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm just gonna get back to mining and, uh, give these guys, give these guys their, their 15 minute breaker. But, uh, they gotta go back to work now. Uh, you know, union rules and things like that. Still gotta follow them. Uh, you know, just doing my civic duty. Alright, guys. I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Oh, I hate that. Have a great day. As always, remember we do this for fun, not for comments, and not for likes. But again, if you'd like to leave a comment down below, by all means, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what I'm doing right. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, hell, just leave me a dot if you want to. Uh, if not, totally understand. If you want to subscribe, please, by all means, subscribe. Uh, again, this is all done for free. There is no money in this. So, yes. And the only reason I say that again is because I got blamed for taking money that I can't even make. Foolish people, right? Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.